Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. So the goal of every coach, consultant and service business owner that we've ever worked with is to get more clients and customers to eventually generate more revenue so they can grow their business. And I assume that is also the goal that you have for your business and you want to achieve that and that's the reason why maybe you're listening to this content or you're actually looking for information so that you too can be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable but there's always that raring question how can we achieve this goal what is it that we should do in order to scale and grow our online business now in this podcast i'm going to walk you through 10 steps for creating an effective content marketing campaign. Now, the reason why this is important is because we all know one thing for sure, that people are coming to the internet to get information. And if they're getting that information from you, guess what happens? They get to know you, like you, and trust you. Okay. But I think what you need above all else is actual actionable digital marketing strategies that will actually work. And if you have been listening to my stuff uh, for a while now, you would notice I have a free report, which basically is a 90 day business blueprint that is designed to explore your service business with high ticket leads within the next 90 days. It is actually a step by step framework that you can use to flood your sales pipeline with highly qualified leads, even if you're starting from nothing. And basically, if you download that blueprint or you download that um, uh, copy, you will actually see the 10 little known secrets that I'm gonna be talking about today that are for you to uh, create an effective content marketing campaign. Even if you're not gonna download it for the sake of um, finding out what those 10 little secrets are, Within the actual delivery mechanism of that, um, you know, ebook, there's marketing going on in there. The way we write the copy, the way we put it all uh, together, and the way you then receive the emails pretty much after that, which I'm hoping that you can learn a thing or two because content marketing isn't hard. You just have to do it right, okay? And obviously, the Online Prosperity Blueprint is designed to do just that for you. And I know it's a highly practical and proven marketing strategy that is designed to help you even have an unfair advantage over the competition. I don't want to lie to you, man. Um, The one thing, and I'm using men here just as a figure of speech, it could be a, a, a highly experienced and qualified professional woman, but... For me, men is just a word filler that I use. It's a better habit, but please do not uh, stop listening to my content just because, um, you know, of the way I use words around here. So by men, I'm just saying you, okay. You know what your competition is doing right now? They're probably looking to you for answers, all right? And in short, what you will have if you download the Online Prosperity Blueprint, you actually can take your business to the next level, okay? I I think uh, I'm already celebrating your success right now and I congratulate you for taking the steps to actually be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But you know what? Before we actually get into this, I'd like to pose a question for you. I want to ask you a really simple question. Why do people come to the internet? Have you ever think about that? What is it exactly that people are looking for when they come to the internet? I want you to really, really um, have a think about that. Is it because they want to watch cat videos on YouTube? Or is it because they want to chat to their friends on Facebook? You know, of course, people are coming to the internet. Not only for that, but people are coming to the internet for three distinct categories. All right. They're coming to be entertained. They're coming to be informed and they're coming to buy stuff. 
all right and it seems a lot of people have actually a lot of fun maybe watching filler content um in between which basically is entertaining them or informing them about what's happening around them so they can make the world or make sense of the world around them okay there was a survey that was conducted and people uh you know lifted their hands up and it actually came out and it says 96% of people come to the internet to educate themselves and 92% of that research said they are there to connect and share with other people and the rest are just coming for entertainment. So these findings suggest that the majority of people are coming to the internet for information purposes. So if you're the one that's providing this information that they absolutely want, then they get to know you, like you and trust you. And you know what happens when people know, like, and trust you, right? They will buy from you. Why? Because people buy from those that they know, like, and trust. So I'm hoping that with these um, 10 steps, you will basically be able to engage with your audience and really have an understanding of who they are and what it is that they're looking for. And hopefully your content now becomes that inspiration that they're looking for so that they can make a sense of the world around themselves. And in the process, why not educate people um, about the things that you've already discovered and how you're solving problems for other people that are in similar uh, positions. And when you do your content marketing right, you basically basically position yourself as the go-to person that can solve that problem. Because if you can really articulate somebody's problem enough, they already assume you've got the solution for that. And in the process, you are literally providing value and do not sleep on this because we do get paid in direct proportion to the value that we're bringing to the marketplace. So if you're providing the information that is helping people solve these problems and, you know, they really appreciate that and they'll start to trust you a lot more, which obviously increases you, their chances of buying, yeah, you know, your products or services or whatever it is that you're delivering with you. But however... Trust does take a lot of time to build. So like I said, you need to engage, then educate. And in the process, you're building good relationships, you know, in multiple stages of your marketing funnel or on your bias journey. And people will actually then convert and take action that you ask them to take if you've got clear calls to action. And my biggest call to action is if you haven't downloaded our report, just simply look at any of the links that came through um, delivering this podcast um, and then you will be able to download our 90 day business blueprint that I can guarantee will explode your service business with high ticket clients within the next 90 days even if nobody has ever heard of you okay and I'll tell you something I always have one rule within my business we do not pitch until we've provided enough value and I'll tell you why I do this, because if you do this, you won't have to start explaining yourself over and over again about what you do and why you're different all the time and why you're trying to sell people anything else. Because if you've given people anything and they have gotten tangible results of value, the next best thing is reciprocity. And reciprocity is basically people saying, hey, thank you so much. I'd like to return the favor. And usually, you know how people return their favor with their credit cards, with their attention, with sharing your stuff. So whatever it is that you're looking for from people, be sure to arm them with information so that when they do go out, they would have a story to tell. And if the story is good enough, guess what? You start getting referrals from there. So how much time would you save if you ever, you don't ever have to explain yourself again? You know, when you're only talking to people that know you, that trust you, converting them will become much more easier. You know, we find it so amazing and alluring when we come across people that have already defined their audience and they've clarified their message and they're speaking in front of us and their audience seems to get them. Isn't that amazing when you just come to somebody's, um, you know, social media posts and there's a lot of people commenting, laughing, engaging, all of that stuff. 
And if you haven't seen any of that happening, why don't you look me up on Facebook and see how engaging my posts are, even if they seem a little bit trivial. But what I'm doing, we're putting in fodder for the algorithm. And when we do post something that needs to be actioned on, guess what? People will jump on that and Facebook won't restrict our um, you know, reach simply because we have been uh, you know, joining the conversation prior. So with these next 10 steps, I know if you just follow two or three of them, you will be able to explode your business with high ticket leads within the next 90 minutes. And I'm pretty sure if you do it really well, you make a huge difference with your marketing efforts and you will actually get a return on your investment. And return on your investment is basically not just the money you're spending. Return on your emotion. Return on your time. Return on the time that you're not spending with your family. Return of just you putting in the effort of growing a business that's profitable and enjoyable. We need a return for all the that we're doing in order for us to show up every single day. And I know that once you take on this step, you will be providing immense value to your customers. You will be engaging them, educating them, and that positions you as a leader in your field. And people only trust those that are at the top of their game, right? And people in, are inspired and take action based on seeing the results that you have actually uh, achieved yourself. And with that being said and done, like I said, content marketing isn't very hard because you're doing stuff that you're providing value to people and we get paid in direct proportion to the value that we bring to the marketplace. Now, I got a question again for you. What makes for successful maybe B2B or B2C lead generation content marketing uh, campaign? It's usually 10 simple steps. And as I keep reiterating, download the 90 day blueprint so that you can see these 10 little known secrets that will explode your service business within the next 90 days. Number one, you absolutely have to determine and define your target audience. And once you know that target audience, you need to be very specific on their information needs. Because identifying your target audience means whatever you're going to say and however you're going to say it is going to be falling on fertile grind, ground. There's no point in trying to spray and pray with your marketing if people are just going to ignore it anyway. People only respond to marketing that is directed at them. So when you define your target audience or your readership or your listenership, it actually involves you knowing the industry in and out. You know what I mean? You need to understand what people are going through. And once you know what your audience and you know who exactly is going to be listening to your stuff, start justifying their failures. You know why? Because you know what it is that they're trying to achieve that your, your product and services can, um, you know, uh, fulfill. You need to start encouraging their dreams. Let's say you're a coach and you're helping people maybe lose weight or you're helping people achieve a career or, or be, do and have happier relationships. You need to confirm their suspicions that they are failing at whatever they're doing simply because they didn't know or had not come across you. So your information, all right, your content should be going to a targeted audience that target audience is the only people that will take action on whatever product or service that you're um, selling. So you should, you know, basically be aware of what information that your prospect is looking for online. Remember when we started this podcast, we said people are coming to the internet to get information. And if you're the person that's providing that information, then they get to know you, like you, and trust you. Where are your customers before they need what you are doing? Or where are they after they would have used your product? That's what your content should be addressing. All right. And you should also think about the information needs of your prospects at the stage of maybe their discovery stage when they're in the marketing journey. OK. And when they start knowing or noticing that they have a problem, you need to be there so that you are helping them and prodding them towards your next step of the plan. You see, at the end of the day, the best marketer. Um, wins every time. You know, some coaches, consultants, and service business owners, they only focus on creating the best product. 
But before you have to think about um, all of that, you need a great retention tool or you need to actually acquire these customers. And people don't know how good you are until they've become your client. And that's where content marketing comes in. And in order for you to know your business, you have to have really good content that is speaking to people's needs before they need or they need to purchase your product. So you need to come up with strategic or useful content and you got to plan it. All right. Once you know what your client's going through in life, you can design a client journey because people are always in forward and perpetual motion. So when you have a strategic content plan, you know, the one where you're publishing and distributing the content and that content is actually solving a problem, then people will seek you out. People will definitely want to engage with whatever stuff that you're coming up with. So a useful content plan, it really disseminates all the information that's of value to the prospect in maybe their job or in the way that they're doing their, 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 their business so that they can use more of your product or your service. So let's say maybe um, one of your clients or prospect is a computer reseller and, you know, or you are a computer reseller yourself. You, you might offer your prospects and clients maybe a special report on how to prevent data loss or how to prevent hackers, malware or viruses of any kind. And just make sure that this is um, actionable content. So when people take action on this um, actionable information, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to jump on and buy from you, but that increases the trust that they now have because you've utterly helped them solve a problem that they might be having. So this kind of actionable information, you know, it doesn't specifically acceler accelerate the, the steps on your buyer's journey or your sales cycle or sell the prospect, you know, on, on whatever solutions that you have, but the prospect will appreciate these free trips and they'll reciprocate, like we've mentioned before, by viewing what you're selling in a more favorable light. Because if you've helped someone achieve, you know, uh, or solve a problem that was keeping them up at night, guess what? They would, you know, want to reciprocate that. And that actually starts building the goodwill and it creates the impression that you're an expert in your field because you literally are helping other people by actually helping them. And people are, people dig that stuff. And once you have designed or, you know, as a coach, you've designed your sort of, um, um, you know, message, you've identified who your target audience is and you've actually clarified that message. I want you to start selecting a format or medium that you would use as a lead magnet. Like if you're listening this podcast right now, I kid you not, the whole problem, you know, the whole program is designed for you to get to know what it is that uh, that we do and how we help our audience. And once you've done that, we're hoping that you might jump onto our um, report and uh, download that report. And before you know it, you start receiving information on how you two can start flooding your sales pipeline with highly qualified leads, even if you're starting from scratch. Okay. So you need to have a lead magnet, some sort of bribe, ethical bribe that people are willing to exchange their email address for, or an opportunity for you to actually start having permission from them to start marketing to them. Like I said earlier on, people only listen to marketing that is directed at them. So content that is, you know, you can't spam your way to success. And when you want to start the journey uh, to actually have permission to market to people, so you can explode your service business with high ticket leads, your content should be presented in a manner that people want to experience it. Now, content can be presented in many formats, you know, and media can vary. Facebook is a media. Um, a PDF is a media. This podcast is a media. And your choice now determines on what you are absolutely good at, okay? So if you're good at talking, well, like yours truly, you can actually start a podcast and that podcast can be transcribed into words and those words can be used to write a blog post. 
all right so it doesn't necessarily matter what sort of media you're going to be using as long as you have identified your target market and you've clarified your message and the choice that you're going to be uh, delivering that message through now creates the difference in the success of your content marketing plan now in addition to maybe downloadable white papers or reports there are other options that you can actually um, go for maybe you can start off with maybe a free webinar or an online course or a podcast or an infographic or a poster you see a lot of coaches and a lot of consultants that go into this whole realm not knowing what the end goal is somebody starts off with a course and then what that could be a lead magnet leading people towards um, more of your products and services etc etc or people just start posting content on youtube which has no direction and no back end to sustain that video because yes people might watch that video but what is the grand call to action that you want people to do after they've watched that video all right so you want to make sure that you're loading useful data and content uh, so that people can really start paying attention to whatever it is that you're going to be putting out there um in the future and the key is to think beyond things that are just downloadable maybe like a report or you know things that are really common because let me tell you something even just being on your social media can be a lead magnet in and of itself because wherever you can give value wherever you can engage your audience wherever you can educate them wherever you can be inspirational and provide value you are in effect positioning yourself as a go-to person that can solve your clients problems and once you've done that create a really great title for that lead magnet because at the end of the day um if you're not knowing what your audience is looking for then your the title of your lead magnet is not going to um you know inspire them to want to know more you know because perhaps the biggest factor determining whether your prospects will request your free content or would want to sit in on a webinar is the title of that magnet are you actually speaking to their needs are you actually speaking to their frustration are you actually speaking to the people who need your current information at the moment you know are these people already buying these services or products elsewhere that you know they just skimming through your stuff just to see if it resonates you know the purpose of having a proper lead magnet title is for you to grab the prospect's attention people are busy and people will just ignore marketing that doesn't speak to them so if you understand your market and you've clarified your message your the titles that you create will generate interest and the curiosity and it will compel them to request that lead magnet so that they can get more information and get to know you like you and trust you in the process so that's why it's very important for you to research and to organize that content so that it's not just you know a run off the mill stuff that people can get elsewhere you know the amount of research that you need to do depends on the knowledge of the topic i mean right now you're listening and i think we're already maybe 20 uh, 25 minutes deep into this podcast and i appreciate you for listening by the way you know because i think it's riveting and you're actually engaged and you really want to also be able to be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable but even if you know the topic well you need to do some outside research you know to really argument your knowledge because each and every one of us is also just scrolling through social media and if you're just putting out generic content out there guess what it just sounds like vanilla to everybody else so you want to make sure that you've got your own personalized take on each and everything that you're going to be putting out there and once you've got it all this content think about how you can organize it and present it in a way that is unique to yourself you know sometimes the content just naturally detects the the um, you know the particular way you're going to be putting it out there maybe you can choose a question and answer format or maybe like a prose like this way we're talking on um you know on social media here and once all of that is put together i guarantee you know just make sure it's clear it's it's prof it's professional there's no errors or there's just so that you give your readers a really good um you know experience 
once that's all in place, you need to create a landing page so that people can um, download that uh, lead magnet from. So your landing page is just a standalone website page that you create where your pro prospect leaves their email address and they request that free bait piece of content or lead magnet. And on a properly designed and effective le uh, landing page, there should be literally just two choices. First of all, an opportunity to request the lead magnet or they can just leave. All right. So just make sell that lead magnet. Tell them why, um, you know, they need to know about the content in that lead magnet. What's in it for them? You know what I mean? So you want to make sure at any given moment, people are actually leaving their name and email address um, and test whatever landing pages you're going to be creating. And don't put too much information on there. Just make sure the landing page has one purpose only, which is basically getting the email address and delivering that lead magnet. And once you've created that, don't expect people to triple stumble and fall onto that landing page. You need to drive traffic to that landing page. And how do you drive traffic to your site without burning through a lot of cash or praying to the Google gods or ads um, each and every day? Look at what we're doing right now. This is free. I'm speaking to you at a time that you've chosen to listen to this content. All right. So you could use email marketing. You could maybe um, use Facebook groups, all of that stuff that you can do to, um, you know, drive as much traffic to those landing pages so that people can download your, um, you know, your lead magnets. There are many other cost effective ways, uh, you know, to get hits on your site, including maybe you could, um, you know, do videos online. You could write sales letters. You could actually start writing blogs, social media posts, webinars, or podcasts like this. Make sure there's so many people that are downloading and coming to your, um, you know, landing pages. And that initiates the buyer's journey and now during this phase you will be turning all those prospects into leads by your email marketing all right and whatever you promise or whatever promise you're putting through on your landing pages for when people are downloading your content please deliver on that promise fulfill all those inquiries you know when somebody requests a lead magnet from you you must deliver that at least within 24 to 48 hours all right before because when when people land onto your your content or your website they are not just looking at you all right we feel like we're the only people present when uh, our people are scrolling i've got three or four different screens that are open at any given time so what makes you think that your website is going to take center stage all right and the reason why um, a lot of people fail is because they just go on and create that one thing and hope people are going to triple stumble and fall coming to their uh, properties just to grab whatever lead magnet you've created it doesn't work like that you know, and a lot of money is wasted in marketing because there is no follow up. I mean, a lot of people, there's a lot of opinion around there uh, to say, oh, don't keep hustling your audience or sending them emails or following up with them. But we are busy individuals. And if somebody doesn't show up every single time, I, I you know, I forget about them because I've got problems and issues of my own. So they has to be follow up all the time. And I, I prefer um, to require, um, you know, uh, prospects to leave me with their phone number and their email address so that we can enable, if we've got a salesperson on our team, to follow up with them. All right. And once they follow up, we make sure we secure an appointment so that we have a consultation of which I... I encourage you to set up some time to have a con consultation with me. And for you to do that, just go on to leavelongdigital.com.au forward slash OPB, which is Online Prosperity Blueprint, OPB. And you will be able to um, schedule a call with me on there. All right.
Because if you're not following up and if you're not setting up appointments um, for you to be speaking to people either in person or on Zoom, then what's the whole point of your business? You are not literally, um, you know, uh, reaching out to people and creating um, opportunities for you to be able to sell uh, to your next clients. Because a lot of consultants and coaches, they frequently need to be uh, reminded that the ultimate goal of your marketing is not to just give away information but to sell something. So eventually you have to take the next step of the sales process, which is securing that appointment. The lead magnet and the content is just to soften the blow for when you talk to people so that they already know, like, and trust you. So when you lead with a value, people will be able to listen to you because you know why you've separated yourself from all the other people that are just spraying and praying in the marketplace there. All right. So good content can then you know, answer questions before uh, clients have them and answer common objections that your prospects might have. So it actually then creates an automated, independent uh, lead generation system that works, you know, without your being involved in it. You know, and when objections are answered and questions are asked before the first sales call, the conversation can just focus on the positives because all the negatives have already been dealt with and dismissed. All right. So I really want that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And if you're struggling to get more customers or sick of cold calling businesses or DMing randoms to get leads online, I urge you to download the report that's going to be in the links on our pages there because in this free ebook all right i revealed 10 proven strategies that will explode your business with qualified leads um you know and high ticket clients in under 90 days trust me we've helped more than 450 service business owners to grow their sales in the last six years so if you're looking for a no-nonsense approach to get more leads online and easy strategies that work fast even if no one has ever heard of you I urge you to download a copy of the Online Prosperity Blueprint in the links that came with this podcast. See you on the other side. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.